well time to now get sporty and i'm also curious just to find about uh, this story a dart throwing which is considered a minor sport in kenya and continues to face the wrath of operational challenges with stigma halting its growth the game can be played individually as well as in teams which often adapt the round robin format but just how are points earned on a dart board ivy kavai now reports Francis Zuma is the captain of Magereza Darts Club who has led his team in scooping trophies here in Kenya as well as in East Africa. He says that darts is not just about the throwing of the missiles, there is a technique that is used in order to earn the required points. The outer ring is the double of the marks which is indicated outside. You see? So the double of one is two. So if you are remaining with two marks, so you have to hit here, that is the game shot. The inner circle is triple of it. If you hit anywhere in, a, in, a, in the midst of this, that is the triple of the number you have, which is indicated outside here. If it's like nine, you hit here, that is 27 marks. Three times uh, nine. This is a game whereby you have to use a lot of arithmetic. Being a cheerleader for the sport, Zuma insists that the game instills important skills and attributes to its players. First and foremost, we have to instill discipline in this game. Since these are weapons whereby you can harm yourself or so you can harm the opponent. So uh, we have to uh, discipline the, 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 the players first. Then we have to give your time. Um, you have to have somebody with sound mind, who is somebody who can calculate arithmetics well, who can know one minus one is zero. That is it. Leah Kipchumba began her love affair with darts about three years ago through watching someone else play. For Leah, who is a law enforcer on her day to day, she admits that darts has helped her sharpen her skills in target shooting. <laughs> Kama sahi, uh, kama mcheza chua, that's me si fai kufaa jeans, uwe si cheza na jeans, unajeza na trouser official, closed shoe, uh, kola ikona, eh, t-shirt ikona kola, yeah. Na sasa rulu zingbina ni kama yu, mstari mepikuwa pale, au fai ku, kupita uo mstari. Devoted to service, she has influenced other women who have since expressed interest in joining the game, which she teaches for free, demystifying the misconceptions about the sport. Uh, kwamba, that's ni game mzuri. It's just like any other game. Ni kama football, ni kama mbio, hizo zote. Na siya te that's ni, ni, ni mchezo ya walevi. Uwa wanasema that's ni mchezo ya walevi, na pia ni mchezo ya wanaume. But uh, now that I mean in my early 30s, I but sponsors Ngambo, tuende tu peperusha bendera ya Kenya na pia mimi kama askari wa prison, peperusha bendera ya Kenya prison. A veteran in the sport, Wycliffe Omamba, popularly known as One Touch, grew his interest in darts in the late 80s and remains to be amongst the top players in the country. One Touch started playing competitively in the 90s and recalls how prominent dart was hosting events such as the annual festival of darts. Having played for centuries, Omamba narrates the challenges the sport encounters. During the 90s, there were sponsors. There were indeed several sponsors. We had Kenya Breweries, we had the IDK, we had the Kenya Seed Company. Many companies supported that. But, I mean, along the way, they withdrew sponsorship. So the big, the big challenge Kenya Darts is facing is sponsorship. These days we play darts by seeking sponsorship from individuals who love the game and like watching it. 
Being an official at the Kenya Darts Association, Omamba says that the association is in a bid to decentralize the game from Nairobi where it has the most prevalence. As Kenya Darts Association, we hold events every month of the year in different places of Kenya, in most counties. I, it's so only that Corona came and games were altered. Otherwise, we try to go to every corner of Kenya to play darts and welcome new players. We are, we are also on the verge of introducing darts to schools and universities such that the young can also know the game. So far, Kenya are the best East Africa. We hold all the trophies of the East African Challenge. This team, we are Magressa. They are the, the club's champions of East Africa. They won it last year when it was played in Kenya. Yeah. They are the champions. The, the runners up were Kenyans. So the singles event, it was a Kenyan who won. Doubles event, it was a Kenyan. So we have the talent here, only that. We are not exposed outside the East African boundaries. And most events are played within our borders. We need to go out. It is undeniable that Kenya is a hotbed of sporting activities with most lacking in the background. That, although popularly social, is highly competitive. Ivy Kavai, Switch TV Sports.